Gray the Realist School John Chipman Gray, 1839-1915, was an American legal scholar who is considered one of the founding fathers of the American Realist School of Jurisprudence. He was a professor at Harvard Law School from 1875 to 1915 and is best known for his book, The Nature and Sources of the Law, 1909. Gray's central argument in The Nature and Sources of the Law is that law is not simply a set of rules that are found in statutes and constitutions. Rather, law is what judges actually do in deciding cases. This means that the law is constantly evolving and changing as judges make new decisions that interpret existing law and create new law. Gray's ideas were highly influential in the development of American realism, which was a dominant school of jurisprudence in the United States in the first half of the 20th century. Realists challenged the traditional formalist view of law, which held that law is a set of logical and consistent rules that can be applied mechanically to any given case. Realists argued that law is instead a more fluid and uncertain concept, shaped by the subjective biases and experiences of judges. Gray's work has been criticized for being too focused on the role of judges in lawmaking and for neglecting the importance of other factors such as statutes and social forces. However, his ideas remain influential in legal scholarship today and he is considered one of the most important figures in the history of American law. Here are some of the key ideas of Gray's realist jurisprudence. Law is what judges do. This is the core of Gray's theory. He argued that the law is not what is written in statutes or constitutions, but rather what judges actually do in deciding cases. Judges interpret existing law and create new law through their decisions. The law is uncertain. Because the law is what judges do, it is constantly evolving and changing. There is no single, fixed body of law that can be applied to all cases. This makes the law unpredictable and difficult to know for sure. Judges are not neutral machines. Judges are human beings with their own biases and experiences. These biases and experiences can influence how they interpret the law and decide cases. The law is not simply a set of rules. The law is more than just a set of rules. It is also a set of practices, institutions, and norms. These practices, institutions, and norms all play a role in shaping the law. Herbert Spencer Sociological School Herbert Spencer though not officially part of a specific sociological school, was a highly influential figure in the early development of sociology. He drew from multiple intellectual currents, including Darwin's theory of evolution, to formulate his own unique perspective on society. Here are some key aspects of his approach. Social Darwinism Spencer is most often associated with social Darwinism, which applied Darwinian principles of natural selection and survival of the fittest to human societies. He argued that societies, like organisms, evolve through competition and struggle, with the most efficient and adaptable societies prevailing. This had controversial implications, particularly regarding its justification for social inequality and competition. Evolutionary Progress Spencer viewed societal development as a process of increasing complexity and differentiation, analogous to biological evolution. He distinguished between militant societies characterized by central authority and force, and industrial societies based on voluntary cooperation and specialization. He considered industrial societies to be more advanced and progressive. Individualism and Laissez-faire Spencer advocated for individual liberty and limited government intervention, believing that social progress occurred naturally through competition and cooperation among individuals. This aligns with his laissez-faire economic views, promoting minimal government interference in free markets. Organic Analogy Spencer compared societies to living organisms with different parts, institutions, functioning together to maintain the whole. This analogy influenced ideas about social stability and interdependence within societies. Impact and Critiques 
While highly influential in his time, Spencer's ideas, particularly his use of social Darwinism, faced criticism for neglecting social inequalities, justifying harmful power dynamics, and promoting a limited view of social change. Despite these critiques, his contributions to thinking about social evolution, functionalism, and the interconnectedness of societal institutions remain relevant to sociological discussions today. Puchta Historical School Georg Friedrich Puchta, 1798-1846, was a German jurist and a leading figure in the historical school of jurisprudence. He was a student of Friedrich Karl von Savigny, the founder of the school, and he helped to refine and develop Savigny's ideas. The historical school of jurisprudence was a reaction against the natural law school, which held that law is based on universal principles of morality and reason. The historical school, on the other hand, argued that law is rooted in the history and culture of a particular people. Puchta's most important work was System des Pendectinates, 1838, which is a comprehensive treatise on Roman law. In this work, Puchta argued that law is a living organism that evolves over time. He also argued that law is not the product of human reason, but rather the expression of the national spirit. Puchta's ideas had a profound influence on the development of jurisprudence. They helped to shift the focus of legal studies from abstract principles to the concrete realities of legal systems. Puchta's work also contributed to the rise of nationalism in Germany. Some of Puchta's key ideas included Law is a living organism that evolves over time. Law is not the product of human reason, but rather the expression of the national spirit. Law is rooted in the history and culture of a particular people. Bentham Analytical School Jeremy Bentham, 1748-1832, was a prominent English philosopher, jurist, and social reformer who played a pivotal role in the development of the analytical school of jurisprudence. He is considered one of the founding fathers of legal positivism, a theory that separates law from morality and emphasizes the importance of clear and concise legal rules. Bentham's key contributions to the analytical school include Common theory of law Bentham defined law as a set of commands issued by a sovereign, usually the state, and backed by sanctions. He argued that law is not about what is morally right or wrong, but about what the sovereign has commanded. This idea challenged the prevailing natural law theory, which held that law is based on universal moral principles. Utilitarianism Bentham believed that the ultimate goal of law should be to maximize happiness and minimize pain for the greatest number of people. He developed the concept of utility as a measure of the good, and argued that law should be designed to promote the greatest good for the greatest number. Codification Bentham advocated for the codification of all laws into a clear and concise system. He believed that this would make the law more accessible and predictable, and would help to prevent arbitrary and unjust decisions by judges. Separation of powers Bentham supported the separation of powers as a way to prevent abuse of power and ensure the rule of law. He believed that the legislative, executive, and judicial branches of government should be independent of each other, and that each branch should have checks and balances on the others. Bentham's ideas had a profound impact on the development of law and legal theory. His common theory of law is still one of the most influential theories of law today, and his concept of utilitarianism continues to be debated by philosophers and legal scholars. Bentham's work also helped to lay the foundation for the codification movement, which has led to the creation of comprehensive legal codes in many countries around the world. Here are some additional details about Bentham and the analytical school. Bentham's ideas were not always popular during his lifetime. He was often criticized for his utilitarian views and his advocacy for radical social reforms. However, his work has become increasingly influential in recent years and he is now considered one of the most important figures in the history of legal thought. 
The analytical school is not a monolithic group of thinkers. There is a wide range of views within the school, and Bentham's own ideas have been interpreted and contested by different scholars. Despite its shortcomings, the analytical school has been a valuable tool for understanding and analyzing law. Its emphasis on clarity, logic, and precision has helped to make the law more accessible and predictable.